sweating. All right, I can't even get over the natural lighting in this friggin' place, but I just had to haul up these two boxes by myself. That is an easel, of course, that's the freaking first furniture that I'm getting. That's a mirror, because I got it on sale at TJ Maxx. So heavy. That easel was at least 30 or 40 pounds, and I had to bring it up myself. But it's fine, because I found parts of clothes. This is, I'm also sitting on the floor because I have no other furniture. This is my first time being in my apartment alone, because yesterday I was with my mom cleaning. And... I feel like it still hasn't hit me yet. Okay, so I went to TJ Maxx today. I couldn't really vlog because I was in a rush. But I got this mirror. It was only $60. Look at that. $60. And if you guys know, it's really hard to find a mirror that's full length but also wide. And this is huge. Like on Amazon, if you look at mirrors like this, it's over $100 and it's much skinnier. Like it's skinnier than my body frame. So it's crazy that I got this for $60, but the only thing is I don't really like silver. My color aesthetic is gold, so I'm thinking about painting this. I'm not sure how to not make it look tacky though, so I'm figuring that out. Um, I got this easel as a gift from the company, and of course it's huge. It has wheels on it. I've never had an easel with wheels on it. And I got velvet hangers. So I bought these velvet hangers literally last year in hopes of moving out last year it didn't happen but i have it saved and i have a lot and the last things that i have i just got a garbage can and a basket i ordered a mattress and a bed frame but that takes a while to come in and i'm gonna have to freaking put all that together but that's gonna come in soon and i have to order a couch rug, work desk, coffee table, lamp, shelf. Those are the main things. So there is the front entrance, right? Closet. There's another, another closet right here. I'm thinking about putting the couch right here. And I'm also not a TV watcher. I don't really like watching TV. I feel like it's very distracting. So I'm not gonna get a TV for now or like at all. And I'm thinking about putting a shelf right here next to the sofa and having a projector on this wall, like, being on this wall so hopefully that works out a little rug in the middle a little circle clear glass coffee table right here I'm thinking about putting the bed here because that's the only other option I have here would have been really nice too because it's kind of secretive but I don't really like it being right next to the kitchen and also you can't fit anything bigger than a full bed here which is good I have a full bed at home and I love my full bed but there's gonna be a really small amount of um, walking space on the side, so I'm not sure. I might make this like my work area. And yeah, that's my vision for now. So I actually had to run to my apartment today. I wasn't supposed to come until Friday, it's Wednesday today. Cause my mattress actually got delivered early and I don't wanna just leave it in the lobby. And I figure I'll take it out today because apparently you need mattresses to kind of like simmer for a little bit so it like expands to the side. Look how big it is. This is what I have so far. So waiting for this to like uncrinkle. And I also just got my chair, you know, my pink accent. I gotta put that together. I wasn't able to put this, put this together, but I need help on that one. But yeah, I need my bed frame. Target because there's actually a Target right by my apartment. It's like literally less than 30 seconds, which is crazy. I've never had a Target that close to me. And I got some knickknacks, you know? So I got some organization stuff for the closet. I got this shelf and I got this utensil holder. 
and some towels. But so far, I'm not really at the interesting part yet. I'm really excited to like decorate that wall right there once I put the couch because I want to put all my art up there and other artists and you know, just support them. And yeah, I just want some color in this room. <laughs> I don't come to my apartment for four days and this is all of the stuff that I get. And when you're a strong headed feminist like me, you carry it up all by yourself. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. So this is what I have so far in my apartment. As you can see, I have to construct a whole bunch of stuff. But the goal today is make the bed frame. And I think that's the, what is it? Oh, this is a couch. I'm excited to open that actually. So I'm gonna open the couch, construct the bed frame, and maybe this, but that's maybe like reaching too far, so we'll see. I'm hoping the couch is like beige, but it looks kind of grayish. So this is my first look at this couch. I've been dropping so much shit that I should like bake them cookies or something to apologize because it's scary like it feels like I'm dropping steel and like buildings on them so if they're trying to sleep I'm so sorry leave comment below leave a comment below what I should leave them <laughs> Ami's over here building my work desk. She built the chair over there. And we're gonna try to build my easel and my lamp. So we'll see how it goes. So this is the almost finished apartment look. I think it looks so cool. All right, Ami built this whole ass easel, chair, and work desk. So this is my work <laughs> corner. She's trying to take a selfie right now. And we just discovered our roof, our secret roof. And look at that sunset. So let me tell you guys, I collect mugs and I've been doing it for a long time. So whenever I go on vacation, I bring a mug. Whenever I go anywhere nice, I bring a mug. That's my souvenir. That's what I've been collecting for years. And I've never been able to put it anywhere and it's just in my showcase at home. But I've never been able to use it because we don't really have storage like that. But now that I have my own place, we about to go crazy with the mug collection. Golden Gate Bridge, when I went to San Fran. I kind of have everything in the apartment I've been living here, but 
I still need to put the art on the walls. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get um, art for my small business artist friends just because I've been lazy. I have some of my own art. Two art pieces right here, and I have this one. It's Monet's famous lily garden. I painted it. This was in my old room. I'm not gonna measure anything, so I hope it looks good. And I don't know if we're allowed to put things up in this apartment, but I'll deal with the consequences. So, I have like a pink gold green thing going on, and I'm excited. Mahira and I just went to go get plants. We came to um, a place next to Queens Center Mall and we actually saw like a lot, right? We yeah. saw what? Succulents, we saw cacti, we saw monstera, monstera, <laughs> all these different plants that I've never seen yeah. in my life. It was plant heaven, but we got two succulents. And we got a really big plant that I'm excited to put in my living room space to fill it up, fill it up a little bit. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. So pretty. I love it. I love it. I love you. So I get a call from my boyfriend, right? A little surprise call. He's like, check, check the delivery. I was like, what delivery? Apparently, my little, my shop and the sister got me something. And according to this, it says living plant. Look how cute this sign is. It says, I'm home. Cause the plant really is. Came from Orlando, Florida. Look how cute it is. I've become too much of a plant mom too quick at once. I was only expecting one child, but now I have like four. Oh my gosh. I just put my Christmas lights up for the first time ever. So I'm really excited. I got art for myself that I made. So this is me opening up the art that I made and seeing it for the first time. Mm. Oh my gosh. So we got the Taka Atlantis art piece that I made over a year ago. Of course, a little Bangladesh action. Got a little my country. And I think the next one that I'm getting is my favorite art piece ever. It's of my mom that I painted recently. I actually ordered it for myself right after I made it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look how pretty this is. Labyrinthub.com if you want to get your own. All right, so these are going up in my kitchen. on my apartment for the past two months and it's been too long I feel like I've gotten everything that I need to get and I want to get and I'm honestly just tired of filming this video because it's been too long I just want to get it out so I am so excited for you to see the final reveal I hope you love it it has a lot of my art and a lot of my personal touch so here is the final look
hope you guys liked my video. Please let me know if you have any studio questions about New York, any questions about living alone, anything in general, I would love to answer it. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. I love making vlogs, I love making content like this. I also have other videos of me just hanging out by myself and just chilling in New York. So go watch that if you want to. But in the meantime, please like and subscribe. Please follow me on my socials, The Labyrinth Ave, and check out my website. Check out our podcast called Difficult Dish. And yeah, a lot of new stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!